Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite desserts for Thanksgiving, a chocolate pecan tart. Now I know normally people are used to a chocolate pecan pie, it's basically the same thing, but because we're a sort of franglais family, I like to throw it in a tart tin. I think it just ends up being a little bit prettier and a little bit more elegant. Let me show you how to make it. So the first thing we're going to do is make our crust. So in a bowl we're going to add a cup and a third of flour, two tablespoons of sugar, and a teaspoon of salt. Go ahead and just whisk that up. To that we're gonna add half a cup of very cold butter that has been cut into cubes. Then you're just gonna work the butter in with the flour using your hands. You're basically looking for a coarse meal to develop. At this stage, we're going to prepare our egg mixture. So in a small bowl, you're going to add one egg yolk and a quarter cup of ice water. Go ahead and just mix that up. And then you're gonna add this mixture to your flour mixture stirring it with a fork until kind of a rough dough forms. Then you're just gonna go in with your hands and start to form that dough, making sure it's all sticking together. And then what I like to do is actually take it and start to smush it against the bowl, making sure that all of that fat of the butter is becoming incorporated into your dough. Then you can turn it out onto a floured surface, pat it into a disc, and then working quickly so that that dough doesn't become too soft is we're gonna roll it out into a large circle about an eighth of an inch thick. We're gonna flip it over our rolling pin, add it into our tart pan, and then just fold over the sides, creating kind of like a double crust along the edges. That will reinforce our tart and allow it to actually stay really stable while it bakes and when we release it from the pan. And then what I like to do is kind of go in with my palm and start to push that dough in to the tart pan, making sure that it's not too thick around the sides. You wanna make sure you kind of have an even thickness then you can take a small paring knife, trim off the edges, and then you will see your tart is ready to go. So now the next thing we wanna do is actually pop this tin into our freezer while we prepare the filling. Watch how easy this is. So we're going to take a medium size heat safe bowl. We're going to add four ounces of bittersweet chocolate and a half a cup of butter. We're just gonna pop that in the microwave for one minute until the butter and the chocolate is fully melted. Then you can go in and just whisk it up. And then we are going to add three quarters cup of sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla, one whole egg, and three egg yolks. Now it's the egg yolks that's going to give this pie that deep, fudgy deliciousness and create a really decadent chocolate pecan pie. You can whisk up this mixture until it's nice and combined. And then we are going to add a quarter cup of flour and a half a teaspoon of salt. Mix that together and your filling is done. So at this stage, we're gonna go back and get our tart tin. We're going to transfer the mixture into the tin. And then here comes the fun part. You're gonna take about a cup and a half of whole raw pecans and you can just pour them out onto your cutting board. Now you wanna do this because even though when you buy the whole raw pecans, sometimes you'll find that some of them are broken or they're not actually totally whole. So save those for another recipe. I've got a great one in a few weeks you can use those for. But right now we're just looking for the ones that are nice and intact. And we're going to place them on top of our pie, creating a circle all the way around. It does help if you choose nuts that are roughly the same height, so then that way they'll all kind of form a nice circle together and none will really stick out on you. And you're gonna create three concentric circles. Once you do that, you'll end up with a little space in the center, and you can go ahead and add more pecans in any kind of decorative fashion you like. And then we're going to place our tin on a cookie sheet, pop it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes, at that point, check your pie, and if the pecans are getting too brown, what I like to do is actually put a piece of foil on top and bake it for another five to seven minutes more, just until that pastry becomes golden brown. Otherwise, what'll happen is nuts have a tendency of burning pretty quickly, and your pecans might start to brown and, and burn before the rest of the crust is ready. So do use a little tin foil, that'll help with that. Once your tart is ready, allow it to cool completely. The best thing about this tart is it's actually better if you make it the day before because then that fudgy center really has a chance to set up. And then the way that I love to serve this tart is with a dollop of bourbon scented whipped cream. It is really delicious and the combination of chocolate, pecan and bourbon is such a classic Thanksgiving taste. And if you don't drink, that's okay. You can leave the bourbon out and I would just use a little vanilla extract instead. And the full recipe to my homemade whipped cream is in the description below. 
I hope you guys give this one a try and let me know what you think. I think you'll find that this tart will be a perfect complement to all of the fruit pies or crumbles that you may have at your Thanksgiving table. And for more quick and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe. Always makes me happy when you guys subscribe. And I will see you back here next week for a quick and easy appetizer if you need something in a flash. All right, I'll see you then. Bye.